Force 1, coordinates 20 Lat, 42 Lawn. Unfavorable weather, but nothing to be concerned about. Timber Wolf is riding comfortably. Roger, Air Force 1. Sorry about the bumpy ride, Mr. President. We're going to try to find a smoother altitude. Adventure Team! It's the Super Adventures of the Super Adventure Team! Featuring Colonel Buck Murdoch, Dr. Benton Criswell, the beautiful Talia Criswell, Major Mandon West, and Chief Engineer Hale. Look at you. You call yourself a man? You're pathetic. God, I hate myself. <laughs> Murdoch. <clears throat> Mr. Morden, sir. We have a crisis situation. The president's plane has crashed in the South Pacific. Quan, that's too much cheese. To make matters worse, it's crashed onto a dormant volcano that is showing signs of activity. Sweet crackers, we're on our way. Uh, can I hit you? <laughs> oh, everyone's looking at me! <laughs> oh, hello, Talia. I didn't hear you come in. That's why I was curled up on the floor, because I was, uh, I was uh... We've got a mission. Where's your husband, Dr. Criswell? Um, I don't know. Delicious. Almost there. Damn cellophane. Oh, they printed my ad. Ted, what are you reading? Uh, an article on jet propulsion. I'm certainly not looking at photos of muscle-bound men. <laughs> that would be wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Darn right. Why, if I thought you were a pansy boy, I'd put you over my knee and give you the spanking of a lifetime. What else would you do? Gentlemen, we have a crisis. What's wrong, Professor? The President's plane has crashed. Neither one of you has seen my wife, have you? It seems Air Force One is resting at the base of a possibly active volcano. You might as well admit it. I know you both want Talia. Heads, get Super Ship One ready for launch. Now, which one of you is sleeping with my wife? Air Force One. This sounds serious. Sure, whatever. Now, what about my wife? Why don't you ask Buck? If he's not too busy hogging all the glory, he's probably with your wife right now. <gasps> in bed. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. Murdoch is sleeping with your wife right now. Don't toy with me, son. The last time I checked, I was wearing big boy pants. Now, if you've got something to say about my wife, you come right out and tell me. What I'm saying is, oh, nothing. Never mind. I thought as much. You're nothing but double talk. Head, are you reading gay porn? Yes. What? Oh. Get, get, get off me. I'm sorry. Damn it, man. The president's in trouble. I'm sorry. Now, where the hell is my wife? I'm sorry. Mr. President. Mr. President? Greece is the word. Oh, 
Hey, thank God you're alive. What happened? We've crashed into some kind of mountain. The radio's out, and I'm afraid Tommy's dead. I see. Silverman, pull yourself together! I'm fine, Ray. Sorry, sir. Now, as you know, in times of crisis, your survival is of the utmost importance. What I'm saying is, well, if you get hungry, I want you to eat me! Um, that's a very kind offer, but I'm sure it won't come to that. Don't be ridiculous, sir. I insist. Oh, no. That's okay. I had a big lunch. No, you didn't. I saw it. You had half a sandwich. Here, eat up. Keep your leg. The Super Adventure Team should be here any minute. You can eat them too, sir, but not until you finish me. Bucky, darling, it happens to everyone. I'm not everyone. Besides, that red light is distracting me. Yeah, why are we on red alert? Oh, the president's in trouble and everybody's crapping apples. Shouldn't we scramble Super Ship One? I'm sure Head's already warming it up. Lately, it seems everyone's always three steps ahead of me. I don't even know why I'm here anymore. You're here because you're Buck Murdoch, leader of the Super Adventure Team, the one group that consistently achieves the impossible. How many times do you have to save the world to know that? You're right. And hey, speaking of achieving the impossible, hello, Woodrow. My dear Talia, the jig is up! Damn. Do wacky, do wacky, do wacky. Head, what's going on? Why isn't Super Ship One in the air? I'm just waiting for the rest of the team to get here. Well, tell them to hurry, damn it. The volcano Air Force One has crashed on has become active, and I'm late for a luau at Jimmy Conn's house. The Super Adventure Team must save the president. <gasps> My knickers are in a twist. You didn't hear that. Super Adventure Team out. Major West! Major West! Oh, ooh. <laughs> Major West! Major West! <gasps> oh! Yeah, what's up, Lamb Chow? Mm -hmm. I'm... if you're... this... what? I said, what the hell is going on? Oh, Manfred Morton just yelled at me. That's what's going on. The president's life is in danger and it's up to us to save him. We need to assemble the team, establish a plan, put this show on its feet, and take it to Broadway too sweet! Forget it. I'm tired of doing all the work and Murdoch getting all the credit. If the president needs to be saved so bad, tell him to do it himself. <gasps> Check your dictionary, Miss Pris, because there's no I in team. Attention, attention, Colonel Murdoch and Dr. Criswell report to Super Ship One immediately. Do you copy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you copy? Aha! Ah. Do you copy? Who's gonna save the president? I hurt my cheek. Yes, who is going to save the president? Find out next in part two of the Super Adventure Team. A couple of minutes ago, on the Super Adventure Team. <gasps> making of a lifetime. Making of a lifetime. Making of a lifetime. <laughs> oh. Aha! Ah! And now, part two of today's Super Adventure Team. Hi, Mom. The president's life is in danger and nobody wants to do anything. Nobody except me. Nobody but me knows how I feel. Inside I've got a secret, secret superhero. Ah. I can save the president and be a hero. I'm going to be a hero. Let's just be a hero. Swift, we need to scramble. 
Air Force One is about to be destroyed by lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head's handling it. No, oh, well, that's swell. Now, about my wife. Oh, your wife? She's probably with Murdoch. What? Oh, please. If she's with Murdoch, that would mean that I'm not man enough for her, and we both know that's not true. That's right. Tally only lets me touch her nay-nays and popo. You flame-haired dimwit. Talia is with Colonel Buck, slap-jawed, glory-hog, wife-stealing Murdoch. Something tells me you don't like our noble colonel. Yeah, you want to know why? When that sea monster attacked Mexico, I saved the day, but he got all the credit. When that meteor was headed toward New York, I sent it back into space while Murdoch was taking a nap with your wife. All right, I get it. So does your wife. Every time your back is turned from Buck Murdoch. My God. Wes, this may shock you, but I think something funny is going on between Talia and Murdoch, and I aim to prove it. Congratulations. I'll tell you what. You take care of Murdoch, I'll save the president myself, and then they'll all pay. Murdoch, my ex-wife, daddy, and that stinky Raymond Taft from summer camp. I'm sorry. Was that out loud? Yikes. Good luck. By the way, I'm very envious of you. Why? Because you just had a front row seat at a show called Dr. Criswell's Amazing Deductive Powers. Gotta go. I'm off. Yeah. Talia, my work here is done. If you can bear to be without me for six or seven minutes, I think I'll go save the leader of the free world. Well, if you let a girl powder her nose, I'll give you a proper send-off. Roger that. <laughs> Mama's little baby loves showing them, showing them. Mama's little baby loves showing them bread. I'm telling you, this isn't necessary. You're just crazed from hunger, sir. Do I smell nutmeg? Hello, Talia. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, Ben, I'm so glad you're here. The president's plane is in trouble. And so are you, darling. Why, whatever are you talking about? If you're inferring that just because I'm in Murdoch's bathroom and I'm covered in mango-flavored joy jelly... We'll talk about it after your nap. But I'm not tired. Then I'm not stupid! Oh! Uh, no. to put needle A in oh. next B. This had better work. Ten, nine, ten! Wait! Oh, that crazy mixed-up kid. Don't worry! I have the same feelings and they're normal! Be right back! Now, all I have to do is to get Murdoch to sleep with me to finally prove that he is sleeping with my wife. Only, he'll be sleeping with me. <laughs> Honey, what's taking you so long? I really do need to go and save the president. Coming. Uh, <clears throat> Coming! We've got a mission. Now, where is your husband? I'm going to need his help. My husband? What do you want with that doddering old loser? Wouldn't you rather have sex? Absolutely not. The president's life is in danger. And how dare you call your husband a loser? He's a brilliant, brilliant man. Now I must go. No. We must have sex. Right now. Just like we do all the time behind my stupid old clueless husband's back. Now take me! <laughs> Talia, the only thing I like easy are my eggs. Good day, woman. Damn it. How come this is the only thing in the spare uniform closet? How quickly they forget Mardi Gras. You didn't have to come, you know. I told you I'd be right back. Shut up! Our first fight. Shut up! Our second fight. 
No one is saving the president but me. I don't mind the rough stuff, but my stay for it is apples. Uh, 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 you're not going anywhere until you have sex with me! Tell ya, please! Your beard is scratching my neck! I don't have a beard. What? Tell ya! But wait. If you're Talia, then who is this guy with the red beard dressed up like you? And speaking of red beards, where the hell is Dr. Criswell? Why don't we ask me? <gasps> Criswell! What in the name of Sam Harris is going on here? Well, see, it... women are... Tell him, Benton. Isn't it obvious? Benton thought you and I were sleeping together and was disguised as me to try to entrap you. <laughs> Criswell, that's ridiculous. Tell you, did you tell him anything? No. <laughs> there then. See, it is ridiculous. We've got a mission. Damn right, you have a mission. Morning. Morning. My report here tells me that the volcano Air Force One has crashed onto us, ready to blow. <gasps> it also tells me that Scott Bayo is dead. Damn shame. Props to Chochi. Why isn't Supership One in the air? Now, this report tells me Supership One is in the air. But if you're there, then who's... West. West. People, I don't think I need to remind you that you're not the only elite rescue squad in the world. I've got the marvelous Action Boys just a phone call away. Not to mention the delightfully daring duo, the happy rescue campers, and the surprisingly adept monkey squad. Word is they're sober again. Now get on that ship! He's right. If we're not on Super Ship One when the President is rescued, we're all in it up to our neck. Criswell, any suggestions? I have an idea, but it's pretty far-fetched. Let Air Force One blow up and then buddy up to the fight, President. No, you idiot. I mean, use my latest invention. The Super Adventure Team holographic transporter to beam our images onto Super Ship One so we can be there for the rescue. Oh, of course. I thought that's what you meant. That other idea would be wrong. Right? The holographic transporter? Then, do you think it'll work? There's only one way to find out! Well, this can't be right. What's that rumbling? Your tummy? Shut up! About the takeoff, I know you're upset. Damn it, man, out of my way! Stop it! We got to get out of here. This thing's gonna blow. No! <laughs> President! Ah, uh, Murdoch! Saved the day again, have you? I knew I could count on you. I'll never, ever forget this. Our country owes you, Buck Murdoch, a great debt of thanks. Now, please excuse me. 
I'd like to pass out. <laughs> By the way, Criswell, bold choice with the dress. It's a Benvenuto. Nice job, West. See you back at HQ. But back wasn't even here with me. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> I hereby present the Congressional Medal of Honor to Buck Murdoch and present these lovely cross pens to the other members of the Super Adventure team. May we all learn from Buck's example. Now, many of you probably watched Thunderbirds when you were kids. Oh, I sure did. In fact, the Jerry Anderson puppet series was one of my favorites. Well, there's a new MTV series that takes those ultra-serious puppet shows and turns them on their ears. I hereby present the Congressional Medal of Honor to Buck Murdoch and present these lovely cross pens to the other members of the Super Adventure Team. The show is called Super Adventure Team, and each week it will try to answer the question, we're what if Star Trek was a soap opera performed by puppets? I have an idea, but it's pretty far-fetched. Let Air Force One blow up and then buddy up to the vice president. No, you idiot. Co-created by stand-up comic Dana Gould, who's the quirky Jimmy Clark character on the NBC series Working, Super Adventure Team will certainly be one of the strangest shows on the air. <laughs> With lantern-jawed team leader Buck Murdoch breaking down into insecure sobs, Science Officer Criswell accusing everyone of sleeping with his wife, and Engineer Head engrossed in Muscle Man magazines. These are not your typical sci-fi action heroes, but they do have an awesome rocket car, a super secret base, and lots of unbelievable adventures in store. Super Adventure Team debuts this Thursday at 10.30 p.m. on MTV.